Hey gang, so today's another sponsored video by Rage 3D, and this time he has sent through the peanut slider. This is actually a fun little fidget. We're gonna get under the camera and have a look and find out what makes it click, what makes it tick, what makes it slide, and um, how do you play with it? Not like that. No, I ruined that. I'm, I'm trying, man, I'm trying. I had this so much better when I wasn't on camera. It's the peanut slider. Let's go. Okay, here we go with the peanut slider. Now we don't have a lot to talk about this guy in terms of, of build and, and taking it apart uh, because there you go, it's apart. There, <laughs> there's not much to do here, but let's talk about a few things. Uh, just to get things out of the way, Raymond uh, fully admits this is not the first uh, peanut designed slider. Um, there have been others in the past. This is just, um, this is his version of a peanut slider. And uh, I think it's awesome. It's actually, one of the funnest sliders I've played with. I mean, it's a peanut, right? It's automatically fun and silly. So, you know, the great for adults, great for kids too, actually, if they just wanna have something fun to play with. Uh, just, again, just because of the shape. Now, the ergonomics on this are really, really good. I wasn't sure how I would like it, um, but there is this really amazing natural kind of grip point here in the middle, this little indent, and then these two rounded outer edges um, work really well. So one, two, three, yeah, so three clicks. So three clicks in either direction, which is pretty common for, for 3D printed sliders. Uh, what the other thing that I, th there's there's a part of this I really, really like, and there's a part that, that bugs me a little bit. Um, so the top, this texture on the top is ridiculous in terms of grip. Great grip. Uh, your fingers just kind of find the grooves really well. You can slide this from the top and you can push. Again, I'm more of a shover. I, I shove my fidgets forward instead of, um, you know, trying to slide from the top here. I think a lot of us probably do. And in fact, with a lot of 3D sliders, sometimes it gets hard if you push from the top. They, they kind of stick a bit. So this grip on the top is great. Now, the thing is it continues right to the edge. And while it can help for grip on the side for, you know, pulling and pushing things and if you're laddering and stuff, but I do find it ends up making it feel rough. There's a constant rough scrape against your skin. So I would love to see uh, something like uh, a little, maybe a little sort of border around it. Something that just kind of gets rid of the little sharp edges on the side. And again, this isn't, this isn't a complaint uh, that, that's going to be global. A lot of people have tougher skin than I do. Um, so it's not an issue for everybody. I just find personally that I would actually prefer um, just less, uh, you know, less of this on the side. So something a little smoother. Uh, other than that though, it's actually, it's great. I play with this all the time. So this is, it's a, it's a great little slider. I would not hesitate to recommend it. If you're into 3D sliders, absolutely get this one because this is a lot of fun. There's just something about it uh, that works really, really well. And you just keep wanting to play with it. And the shape, the ergonomic shape on it is, is a nice change from uh, straight square edges. So being able to, even just holding it like this, I tend to just kind of pick it up like that and hold it a lot. And I'll just sort of run my fingers along the side, which might be creepy, might be weird. I don't know, but it feels good. I like it. So there you go, guys. That's the uh, peanut slider by Rage 3D. And you can actually get one uh, in the, uh, the Rage 3D Facebook group. That's where you would go and order. Okay, gang, thanks for watching.